Hubble Space Telescope has outdone itself once again. The NASA and ESA Collaboration Telescope, which has a history of obtaining fascinating photos, has captured another galaxy, this time a spiral galaxy. So what does this discovery mean, and why did it take so long to make this discovery? Stay tuned as in today's video we look at the new spiral galaxy that has been captured by the Hubble Space Telescope. The Hubble Space Telescope is the first significant optical telescope to be put in space with a clear view of the cosmos. It was first introduced in 1990 and has already been in use for 32 years, having been serviced six times. The Hubble Space Telescope captured a galaxy that sits within the Virgo Cluster. The picture of the spiral galaxy NGC 4571, which is roughly 60 million light years away from Earth, was taken on a different mission between NASA and other observatories to learn more about massive groupings of stars. The Virgo cluster has around 1,000 members according to a statement from the European Space Agency. The cluster also includes the local group, a collection of neighboring galaxies that includes our own Milky Way galaxy. The new picture of NGC 4571 is part of an observing program that combines Hubble observations with those from Chile's Atacama Large Millimeter Array. Hubble has specialized in infrared, ultraviolet, and optical wavelengths, but ALMA's millimeter wavelengths, which are between infrared and radio, enable the Chilean Array's 66 telescopes to peek through dust with great resolution. According to the space agency, ALMA can identify clouds of Chile interstellar dust that give birth to young stars. But Hubble's ultraviolet work allows astronomers to pinpoint the position of hot, brilliant, freshly born stars. The goal of the project is to create a database of star-forming regions for future research, which will include deep space observations from the James Webb Space Telescope, which was launched on December 25th. Webb is positioning its mirrors and equipment in preparation for operations to begin in June. We have been studying the Virgo galaxy since the Hubble was launched, so how did we miss the NGC 4571? Galaxies, unlike certain deep sky objects, may be difficult to observe. Their light is diffused, and their details are typically indistinct. But you may wonder how things made up of a trillion or more individual suns can be so difficult to see. The answer, of course, is distance. Galaxies are so far away that they seem tiny and dim, with the exception of a handful. Observing dim galaxies is difficult even for advanced observers. The galaxies Hubble is now discovering are fainter and fainter with each successive picture, always just at the limit of what the telescope could disclose. There are a lot of galaxies out there. Hundreds of new galaxies have been found in the Virgo Cluster, the closest major cluster of galaxies. The vast majority are exceedingly dim dwarf galaxies, objects hundreds of thousands of times less massive than our own Milky Way and among the universe's faintest galaxies. The Virgo Cluster seems to have considerably more of these dim galaxies than the Milky Way's local group, implying that the galaxy formation on tiny scales is more intricate than previously assumed, and that our local group may not represent a typical corner of the universe. Astronomers are now interested in studying individual galaxies as well as their environments in order to understand more about how stars develop and galaxies grow over billions of years. The Next Generation Virgo Cluster Survey Team has also been conducting the galaxy study, which now has data collected over the course of six years with Megacamp, a 340 megapixel camera operating at the Canada-France-Hawaii Telescope and capable of observing a one square degree field of view in a single shot. Using Megacam's wide angle coverage, the NGVS team was able to observe the Virgo cluster in its entirety, encompassing an area of the sky comparable to nearly 400 full moons at a depth and resolution much above any previous Virgo cluster studies. The result mosaic with approximately 40 billion pixels is the largest, most detailed continuous field ever observed. They also created a complex data processing approach that enabled them to identify several times more galaxies than previously known, including some of the lightest and most diffuse galaxies ever identified. Current galaxy formation models predict hundreds or thousands of dwarf galaxies in the local group, but only a few hundred have been discovered. The NGVS survey team using the Hubble will conduct a follow-up investigation using higher resolution simulations to investigate how galaxies are scattered geographically across the cluster in order to learn more about galaxy formation. Hubble has aided scientists in their understanding of our solar system. Comets and planets can be seen using the telescope. Hubble even detected previously unseen moons around Pluto. There are billions of stars and galaxies. The Hubble Ultra Deep Field image depicts some of the most distant galaxies ever observed. Its images let scientists understand more about the whole cosmos. 
Scientists believe the cosmos is about 14 billion years old according to Hubble Images. It still captures stunning images of things in space, but it also has its limits. Now hopefully with the new James Webb Telescope, we will be able to observe light distinct from what Hubble sees. Webb will assist NASA in seeing much more of the cosmos. And that is all for today's video. Do you think we will continue to make more discoveries using the Hubble Telescope? Let us know in the comment section below and go through the channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.